In today's class, I will talk about moment of a force. Moment of a force. Now, moment of a force is the product of the force. Is the product of the force. And the perpendicular distance all right from the line of action of the force so this is the moment of a force so what you are seeing here on your screen is a is a, a wrench, all right? Right here is the is the pivot. The pivot point is right here, and uh, right here is the applied force, all right? Now, when we apply a force right here, it turns the the, the wrench. All right, in order to what to to turn the pivot or to open the knot, the distance from the from the force to the pivot point is called a turning radius, which is d. So what you are seeing here is an application of moment of a force. So the formula for moment of a force is moment equal to force times the distance force times distance this is the formula for calculating moment of a force now from this formula we can we can uh, we can derive the units for, for a moment now if you remember that force is measured in newton and distance is in meters so I can say that the unit for moment is Newton meters. Newton meters. All right. So the units for moment, the units for moment of a force is Newton meters in brackets and n. So this is the unit for measuring moment of a force is in newton meters let's look at an example of how we can apply moment of a force the question on the screen is a moment of 7.5 newton meter is required to turn a wheel if a force of 37.5 newton applied to the wheel of the wheel can just turn the wheel Calculate the effective distance from the ring of the orb of the wheel. The first thing I do here is that I write out my given data. Number one, I have my moment. So my moment M is 7.5 Newton. My force is 37.5 Newton, my force is 37.5 Newton, and my distance is D, which is unknown. All right, now we are asked to find the, the effective distance. Now the first thing I do here is that I will use my formula, which is N equal to F force times distance. Alright? What next? I will log in the data. My moment is 7.5, so I write out my 7.5, 7.5 Newton meters equal to my force is giving us 37.5 newton 37.5 newton 
45 newton times my distance. So we divide both sides by 37.5 newton. Sorry, newton. We divide both sides by 37.5 newton over 37.5 newton. Alright, so this cancel out this is done. So Newton cancel out Newton. So I am left with 7.5 meters divided by 37.5. So what is 7.5 divided by 37.5? That gives me 0 0.2 meters. Gives me 0 0.2 Point two meters that is zero point two meters equal to my distance. So my effective distance from the rim to the up of the wing is zero point two meters.